Okay, we have Mercedes here. Say hi. Hi. And you're doing this for Make-A-Wish. Yeah. And you don't know exactly what you're getting just yet. Mm -mm. But we'll find out when the end comes, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pause a minute and let her drink her drink, y'all, and then we'll get started. All right, everybody, we're back. Uh, we're getting ready to get started. And poor Mercedes has burps because of the soda she drank. <laughs> uh, and hiccups now. All right, so we're going to get going. Mercedes, I've had people ask me to ask you. Excuse me. I've had people ask me to ask you, so I'm going to ask you. Hmm. Why do you like getting haircut so much? Because I got to deal with it. Because you don't got to deal with it. Yeah. But do you just like the way it is when it's shorter? Mm-hmm. It's a lot easier to manage. And your cute as a button, too. I've always been cute as a button. Yeah, but you're cuter with your hair short. We saw, that, we saw that in your very first video. Don't make it too tight. In your very first video, we saw that. We saw how you went from having all that hair on your head to the cutie, the cutie little thing that you was and are. Yay, I was actually going to ask you about using this one. Uh, well, I was going to use it anyway just for you because I know you like it. Mm -hmm. I like anime if y'all if you guys don't know. And I saw another video where somebody was using this same tape. And I don't even remember where I got this from. I have something called Chiari malformation type 1 and I'm possibly having to have surgery. Here. No, that's me. No, that was a ghost because she wasn't standing near it. Yeah, I was. I was, I was touching the corner of it back here. Yeah, because uh, 
Yeah, this is your natural natural color. When I was a baby, I was a strawberry blonde. So I was I was caught in white a white kid. Because my hair was completely white like snow. When you were born, you was a you was a cotton top. Yeah. Number four. Because you're doing a voice thing, you're not doing a shade yet. This time. And I'm trying to see what's going on right there. Just spiral. Okay, we'll get to that. We'll get to the spiral. No. It's just the light you got blonde mixed in with it. That's why it looks that way. You got not have blonde in your hair. Your hair is always stubborn like the night you're here. This to be right here is blend in. Turn that gear.
back here or something? Mm -hmm. Pause for just a moment. Alrighty. Okay. Feel different? Yeah. Feels okay? Yeah. Because I've never used this on it before. I've used volume clippers on it before, but not with this not with this attachment. It's not that funny that your little bitty hairs you got the way they grow right here. On both sides. I have no idea. I'm not that. But it's a natural growth pattern. It's just laying your hair in. Over the stone in there, to, to 
I smooth them out because it's not adjusted where they bite. Nothing there. Yeah, I see one little bee red spot, tiny. That's probably from the from the edge of the clipper touching you. And I I will adjust that. I don't have to adjust it. What I got to do is take the blade off and put it on a flat stone and take a little edge it's got on it off. Smooth it right out. I'm going to give you the mirror here when I get done with this part. spiral behave.
still. <coughs> Get back up here. You just made me make your hard part thicker. Well, now, you went too. You went too hard on it. You I went. Was, I was only putting a hard part in. Now hold, hold still, because I got now I got to do it the same all the way through. Well, if you weren't putting here, here, that much pressure on it, it wouldn't hurt. Hold still. You see what? Well, you see? No. I, I barely touched you. See, I didn't even barely, I didn't push it all. It's pushing on my scalp. All right, I'm gonna get the other ones out there. They're digging into my scalp. It's, they normally do not do that. And you know it because you've used them a bunch. Maybe you need to sharp, maybe you need to plus in. I watched the language. Sorry. Maybe you need to uh, do the same thing you gotta do to the other ones. I gotta use these. I don't need you to hold it. 
I did not want this hard part this wide, nowhere near. Well, it looks like we're hurting me. Well, I apologize for that, they weren't supposed to be. Just feel that. Ow! Oh, that now I know these didn't be in, these don't. I put the new blade on me. You just cut me! I did not cut you, look. You did! Your hair's just sensitive for some reason, right? That hard part's wide. I don't, I don't like it that wide. You can shave it. Turn your head sideways. Now hold the mirror over where you can see. I can't. My hands aren't sturdy enough. <coughs> we mean they're not sturdy enough. It, it don't take much. My hands are really shaking right now. All you, not all because you, of this, but my hands are shaking, and I'm not going to want to fuck it up. You can't. You do it. <laughs> you can't. Yeah, I thought you wanted to do some. You do Just it, because my hands aren't sturdy enough. My hands aren't long enough to do it. Yes, they are. No, they're not. You're being silly, rabbit. Here, let me help you. Uh, also, the vibrating in my hand is fucking, is messing me up. You're not used to watch your language. I'm sorry. I have it. Hold it like I showed you. My hands are Hold it like My hand is tingling. Hold it like I showed you. I'm going to show you why. That's good. Now, right there, and just go straight up. Put it on your skin. All right, move the camera over to the There you go, where people can see. What do you think? You done it yourself. What do you think? You having fun? <laughs> Are you having fun? Now you got plenty of cord.
my hair was getting tired. I just clean these and oil them. And they never bit you before. That's why I'm saying there's there's something going on where your head is more sensitive for some reason. Because you never acted like that before. And I've used these on you how many times? Well, all but the hard part, I thought the boy cut was cute on me. What do you think? No. Sorry. Hold still, hold still. Right there. No. <coughs> Sorry, is that better now? Does it, does it feel better to go more flat? Put a, uh, can you do it with a uh, guard on it? I don't have one that'll get down close enough, baby girl. Oh. We're almost done with this part. Okay. Alright, put the mirror Wait, down. hold on. Try to style this really quick. To what? See, I was just going to lay it over. Hold on. Hey, can you like try to style this really quick to see what it looks like? To so what it looks like as what? As it is now. Yeah, put the mirror down. And then just trim it to where... To where it looks right? Mm-hmm. Okay, hold on. See, this looks cute. Your boy cut would have been cute if I could have finished it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, um, I do. Right now, how's that? And see, even your even your pattern back here is behaving itself. I'm trying to like fix this side because you see how you see what I'm saying, like right here. I see where it pinched just a little and I cut you. It pinched you a tiny bit. That's what I was saying. You're, you've been pinched before and never said a word. But you're sensitive, you're really sensitive for some reason. And I don't get that because normally you're not. What do you think about this, Tim? I think it's cute if you like it. But see, that's why I was doing the boy cut. I, I had you the fade going on here. Can you like possibly, like you see how this is like, has like a line, can you like fade that? Uh, I can't fade it, but I can take it down like the rest. Yeah. You see where there's a line at right there? Yeah, I did, I did, I did, I did. It's not really a line. You see what I'm 
what I'm saying? Even it out. Like that? There's a lot of people who wouldn't agree with you, though. So you missed a few hairs like right here. I know. That's what I was talking about. You're Taking the, way the you're... little ones to it. Here, to get it. turn this way. Take the little ones to it because it'll be easier. I got them with that one. See, all you have to do is put a little spray or a little gel on it to make it lay down right. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to do this to where it don't stick out anything. Mm -hmm. I forgot what this is called. I don't know what you would call this. A Mercedes cut? <laughs> Probably. I mean, it's they could call it a high, a high and tight, but... You got all that hair up there, so it's not a high and tight. So this is a Mercedes, dude. Okay, I feel like it's like a little like military style haircut for like a guy. No. Yeah. Not really. They they don't buzz aside and leave this much up there. They they leave hair up there, but not this much. <coughs> you like that? What's it look like in the back? It just, where your line comes across, it comes right across here and right up to the front. I got you buzzed up to the, up to the line. Now, does it look better where it ain't sticking out as much? Mm-hmm. You want with your, sh I would show the rest of it off, but I like this. What do you think? I think... I think you'll have a whole lot of questions and some disappointed people waiting we, on you. We can do it. We can shave it. I just want to see what this would look like. All righty. Drop your mirror down. Now, we can, we can do something like this later. Mm -hmm. When you come back, we can do something like this, then I'll do like a little fade around the edges. Mm -hmm. Does that sound all right to you? Mm-hmm. All right. You ready? Mm-hmm. My my wave was starting to come back. Only on one side though. Which is weird. You only get them on this side. And that's never happened until I started cutting my hair. No, I was doing that when you first cut it. You had more waves over here when I cut it. Don't you remember your ponytails? Mm -hmm. All the waves are on this side. And I don't know why. It's weird or simple thing. You know I got a tint of brown in my eyes. You got what? A tint of brown. I don't know where you're blue as they can be. Your eyes are pretty blue. I've always liked your blue eyes. I think this is like a what, a midnight blue? Mm, I wouldn't call it that. <clears throat> you could call it a sea blue.
you doing? There are a lot of places in the tropics that has more than that blue. Okay? Yeah, I'm texting about something, guys. Give me a minute. It's important. Well, you should have told me that. I'm sorry. No, they just texted me. They asked me if I'm okay and if I need anything. I'll tell you all, this, this girl right here is my grandbaby. She's a little bit of a wild child. Sometimes she don't listen. But I love her to death. Gotta get done, baby. That's why you gotta get done, so I can hold your hand right. <clears throat> Please tell me you're done. That's my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. That's my girlfriend. Okay. Isn't she pretty? Yep. All right, now. Yeah, let me have your hand. Is that the magic razor? No. This is a hardcore. So this one ain't going to cut me. No, it will not. Oh, look. See, he's taking hair off. You gotta be careful. I am careful. Because if I wasn't, you'd be getting cut right now. Like that top part of my head is like sensitive. Sensitive, and I don't know why. That's bewildering me. Because you're never this sensitive. Could be from where I hit my head. You hit your head? When did you hit your head? On it, um, 
under the table when I was coming up. I bonked my head. On what? The table over there. Oh. Oh, when you got that clipper guard? Yeah. One of my clipper guards went down on the floor and up under the table and she got under there to get it. She must have knocked her head when she was coming out. I didn't know that. Because Julian was talking to me as I was trying to get out safely. Well, I was going in there and getting that little handle to pull the guard out with so it would be easy to pick up. I don't know why he had you get all the way up under the table like that. No, since I have a swirl, uh, since I have a swirl, you got to be careful. I'm already did past your swirl. Mm. There ain't any bumps on my head, is there? I ain't seen any yet. That's good. You don't see my mole? Where you got a mole at? It should be on the top of my head somewhere. I ain't seen no mole. I used to have one. Unless you accidentally cut Shaved it. it off. Yeah. And moles don't grow back. I actually took one off of a, a, girl, a girlfriend of mine. She had one on her neck. Mm -hmm. And I took it off with a razor. Did she bleed a lot? She didn't bleed at all. She didn't bleed at all. Mine bled a little if you remember. And I put a bandage on it with some Neosporin. And in three days, you couldn't even tell there was a mole there. All it was was a little brown spot. Looked like a freckle. But you've seen my mole. I don't remember seeing it. At all, for real. See, that's where, that, where your hair grew plenty, right there in the front. And I've got it now. Past it. I know. Chill out, baby. We're not even done. I know, and you, since you've been moving, you got hair all over your face now. I'm tired. Alright, put keep your head up. Don't don't drop my rag on the floor now. Did you get the one that's for my, did you, did you get the sensitive skin one? What's that? Uh, I got the one that I normally use. On me? Yeah, on you. The sensitive one for sensitive skin? It does, it does help. That one does, that's a new one in there. That soap that's in the mug. Mm -hmm. It's for sensitive. Put some more on there. I am because I'm gonna use a different razor. You're not using the one that cut me before, are you? What the magic razor? Yeah. No, and, and that's something I also wanted to bring up too. Here, turn this. When I shaved her head last time, she moved and got a scratch on the side of her face. It looked like she was cut, but y'all can see there's absolutely nothing there. It was a scratch, but it looks bad because your face bleeds a lot. Because there's a lot of blood in your face. In this area right here, you've got, there's 11, it splits off to 11 branches. It's called the trigeminal and trifacial. And you have arteries that come through here. That's why it bled like it did. But you can see there is not a mark on that child's face. Can I smell it? 
Anyway. I'm tired. Smell like lavender. Smells good, don't it? Smells like lavender. Smells good, doesn't it? Let me double check. It smells like lavender to me. Yep, it smells like lavender. Smell it. There's lavender and then something else in there. I don't remember what the other one is. That burns. I can't do a face shave. I know. Not until my pimples heal. Let me see. I think you could if you wanted to. Mm -mm. I'd rather wait. <coughs> Especially this one. Shoot, you take top off and do the healing in a day. Which one is that? This is the good razor, the sharp one. The one that you used before that didn't cut me? Yep. Yep, I've used this a bunch of times on you. Alright, now, turn this way. Have to hold still. This one doesn't hurt as bad. And it's much sharper than the other one. But it doesn't feel like it. I see an owl right there, but with this one I'm not. I was going the other way you would. I just saw a bump on your head. But I didn't get it though. Probably not. No, it's a tiny bump right there. Like a pimple. Like the start of a pimple. Turn this way. Then that because of them little hairs right there. Remember I told you about them? They're gone. Now the first time I shaved your head when I done that part right there with the the magic razor, mm -hmm. you went mmm. -hmm. Remember? Mm -hmm. That's before it cut me. Well that was that was the very first time you shaved your head though. This is the fourth. Now, people was asking, and I, I told you I would ask you questions. You already made, you already answered why you like getting your hair cut. You like trying different stuff too, don't you? Yeah. Now, what is it about shaving your head that you like? You like how it feels after? Mm-hmm. When you when I first got it shaved, it felt weird. It felt really good though, didn't it? Uh -huh. I remember the big, you had the biggest grin on your face. He was laughing. I'm tired. You had a big old grin on your face. Now, since you've been shaving your head, your hair grows a lot faster, do not it? Mm -hmm. A lot faster. People 
people are so cruel. A lot of them can be, yes. Why would you... Why would you kill your wife and daughter then turn around and kill yourself? Why not just kill your own self and, live, and let your daughter and wife live? Because some people don't... They're nuts when they do that. They think if I can't be there, nobody else is going to be there. Or they think if I'm not there, they'll suffer. So they take their life along with their own. Which makes it a homicide, suicide. And those two hardly ever clash. More than you know. More often than you know. Because a lot of times it's not in the papers like that or on the news. What makes it a big deal is sometimes where it happens in a small town where they don't have crimes like that. So they splash it all over the news. Crime in small town America. Shattered small community. Or some sad shit. Yeah. I'm still mad about the elementary, about those kids losing their lives in that elementary school. They could have done, they could have reacted faster. Not a lot of people are mad about that. They could have reacted faster instead of waiting a total of 90 minutes to rescue them altogether. I don't remember how old the girl was. I think she was around my uh, youngest cousin's age. She literally, she saw her best friend get shot in front of her. And then he left or whatever. She had to use her, her best friend's blood to play dead the way she didn't get killed. Well, that was smart of her. Yeah, but she shouldn't have had to done that. She shouldn't even have to. No, shouldn't have. No, no kid should have to do that. No kid should have to watch but if the kid, kid. If the kid has enough, not enough thought to do that to save their life, you see, that's survival kicking in. That's survival instincts, and, and her instincts was great because it saved her life. Oh. Something like it, it shouldn't have. She should have never had to had to have done that. Oh, the kids that did survive, they will have to go through multiple therapy. We'll have, we'll have to go through multiple, multiple therapy and psychiatrist appointments throughout their life. Maybe, maybe not. Most of the school shootings that happen are because of teens not getting the mental health help that they need. They're crying out for help and they get ignored. Because our mental health system is stupid and don't want to hardly do anything. Want to push it underneath the rug unless you're overdosing or unless you're... Alright, feel your head. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. But right? you get what I'm saying, like they don't hardly care unless you're trying to, you know, yourself, or you're in, in, or you're in immediate danger to anyone else. Then they, unless they, unless you're, unless you're that problem, they don't care. That's just how society is now. That's just society nowadays. That's the mental health system for you. Yeah. Nowadays. Unfortunately. Like kids my age and, oh, and younger would be crying out for help and they don't get the help they need. And stuff that happens like school shootings, that's how they manage and take care of what they had to take care of. And they want to be beamed and deemed as the bad guy. Sometimes they have such problems that... That could easily be fixed if they, their you know, parents... They, they, believe, they believe they're being told to do that. My voice is in their heads. Or else they think that's the only way to take care of a problem. It burns. It won't for long. Look straight. Look down.
You can tell where it's hitting here, can't you? It burns. Take it off. It'll be coming off really soon. That burns. Well, still, it's going to come off real soon. Take it off. I am taking it off. Stop. Hold on to your head, baby. Take it it's off. Almost, I'm getting ready to take it off if you let me get this part done. I'm going to get the rag wet and take it all off of you. It burns. I don't know why it's burning. Because that's lavender and eucalyptus, it should not burn. Alright, go ahead and get your wipe down. <coughs> now, now. Don't make it too hot. It's good and warm, but it's not hot. Put your hand down. I want to do it. Put your hand down. Girlfriend. Let it sit. You want this off, don't you? Yeah, I'm going to take that off. Let it sit on there. Okay. Did it feel alright? You could have made it a little bit hotter. <laughs> well, you said not hot, so you didn't specify. Does it feel better now? We'll put it back on there and let it sit. Alright, now. There you go, kind of pat it on. Does it feel better when you got it on there? It don't? Okay. Why are you so sensitive this, this time? I don't get that. You ain't never been that sensitive on your head. <coughs> <clears throat> Have you been smoking sunshine and drinking happy? Huh? That, that, leave that part alone. Talking to you. You ain't been drinking. You ain't been drinking happy and smoking sunshine. Mm -mm. And maybe you've been smoking, uh, drinking sunshine and smoking happy. No. What's going on with you, girl? Mm -mm. Your head ain't never been that sensitive before, has it? Yeah, in the past. No, that's what I'm saying. It hasn't. Which is striking me as, as strange. Does it feel better now? You forgot. Huh? Well, there's a little patch there. Keep your finger there. I was trying to get done with you real quick. Where? Oh, okay. Do you hear it getting any more? Alright, rub it that way. Feel good now? A little over there. You like it better when it's smooth, don't you? It's not that it's my ADHD. 
maybe that's why my ADHD is starting to act up with the sensitivity again. See, it would be better it didn't, since you ain't got the lavender stuff on it, it's not hurting. Which, that's, that's weird, ain't it? So I'm thinking I might be allergic to lavender. Possibility. But you've not been allergic to that before, and I've used it only twice. I know, but allergies can also suddenly appear without, you know, ever being allergic to it. Or it may be a reaction between meds or something you ate. The only one I had to eat today was chicken and dumplings. Chicken and dumplings good, ain't it? Mm-hmm. That's, that's, not, that's not something I ate in the past two or three days. Alright, That's the spot where I had to use the magic razor before. Better, but not all the way. Is it good enough, though? Yeah. Good for you? Mm hmm. All right. Now, tell everybody when you shaved your head the first time, why you like this one? Can you get this one a little patch? I'll move. Better. Little patch right there. That's where the hairs are going on both sides. You got a little bit right there? Tiny bit. Yeah. Good now? Feel it now, make sure, because while I'm doing this, I'm going to make sure you feel good with it. Mm -hmm. You're good? Can you see any more packing? I don't. Good. Back here. Now, scooch, scooch back. Okay, now. Now we're sitting there talking. I don't want to talk. You don't want to talk. Well, that's what everybody wanted to do was talk. And I was just going to see something simple. Mm. When you get your head shaved, does it make you feel different? No. You feel the same? It, it, just, it just feels good to you? Is that all? Mm-hmm. Now, the first time you did, I think you did it because Daisy May wasn't going to like it. Is that what it was? Mm-hmm. Is that why you was laughing so hard? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you didn't do that just because Daisy May did you? Yeah. Did you really? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. I thought you did just because you wanted to see how it felt is what you said. That and because I wanted to make Daisy May mad. Well, you did that, but 
And she was mad because she couldn't have control over it. Well, she's mad because uh, she didn't want you to. But see, you was 18, so it was up to you. And you liked it. You actually liked it, didn't you? Hey. Hmm. When you got done, you rubbed your hands up there. Didn't you laugh? Mm-hmm. Why did you laugh? Because the way it felt? And because I knew I'm, I mean, because I knew Daisy May would be mad. And I like I don't I mean I don't like seeing her mad, but it was funny. <laughs> and but you really liked it though, didn't you? Mm-hmm. I mean Daisy May's gotten one close to what I've done. The only, yeah, she's done everything but her top. And, uh, but she didn't want you to do yours at all. But you did the whole thing and you actually liked it. <clears throat> Remember that big grin you had on your face when you rubbed your head afterwards? Do you? Hey. I, I do. Look up at me, not the phone, please. Do you remember how big a grin you gave when you rubbed your head? Mm-hmm. Look at me. Mm-hmm. I remember. Oh, this card. I know. Rub your head up there now. Does it feel okay like that now? Mm-hmm. Rub your hands up there. How's it feel? Feel good? You like a shaved head, don't you? Mm-hmm. You're actually very pretty with a shaved head. You are. And you've been told that a bunch, haven't you? You've been told that a whole bunch, haven't you? You got a good shaped head. My girlfriend is so pretty. Well, you're so pretty. She ought to be glad, lucky to have you. Tell her bye bye. Yeah, I've seen her. Bye. Alright, this is Mercedes, y'all. This is, uh,. She's, for some reason, she was sensitive tonight and messed up my hard part. And I wound up giving her a, a buzzed all the way around with, the, with like a boy cut top. And, but you actually kind of liked the way it looked, didn't you? Well, when we do it again, we'll do it where it's faded around the sides and not messed up, okay? Mm -hmm. and, and I'll do it with the trimmer, do the hard part with the trimmer instead of the clipper. That way it won't hurt. Uh, and you're, we're going to wait till warmer weather before we do anything else. Because it's getting cold around here now. It was freezing this morning. Excuse me. But do you like how this feels now? Mm-hmm. Are you glad you did it? Yeah. Did you have fun doing some of it yourself? Yeah. It wasn't as bad as you thought, was it? Yeah, but my arm started getting tired. Well, that's probably because you're sleepy and you've been out running around all day. But if we do this again, we're going to do it where you're not so, you've been running around and not so tired. <coughs> and I'll let you do it again. But I'll let you do it with the silver ones and a triple zero. Because you like the triple zero. You like that one. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to spank you and put you to bed without supper. Alright. Tell her bye bye, sweetie. Bye. Blow, them, blow them kisses because you do that good. Do it right. <laughs> You're being silly. Tell everybody, tell everybody you'll be back. I'll be back. And, oh, I'll be back. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, make a wish. Make a wish. Make a wish.